10 Shocking Celebrity Deaths 10. John Lennon John Lennon still lives on through the legend of the Beatles. The Beatles were a British band that he co-founded in the 1960s, and they're probably one of the most, if not the most, famous bands in the entire history of the world. However, Lennon's fame and musical ability meant that he made enemies, and his biggest came in the form of Mark David Chapman. One night, while Lennon was returning home with his wife in New York City, Chapman approached him and shot him in the back four times, killing him. Chapman had reportedly been planning the murder for months after hearing that Lennon had blasphemed by saying, quote, the Beatles were more popular than Jesus. Despite being a Beatles fan himself, Chapman was angered at this comment that insulted his religion. 9. Heath Ledger Heath Ledger was a remarkable Australian actor who was successful not only for his acting abilities, but for his likability as well. While he was known for many roles, his most prominent was probably that of the Joker in the Batman film The Dark Knight. He won a number of posthumous awards for this role, and it's pretty much now a legendary cinematic portrayal, and rightly so. After filming The Dark Knight, Ledger was working on the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus when he was finding it difficult to sleep. One evening, completely exhausted, he took some prescribed drugs which he unfortunately overdosed on, and he died from combined drug intoxication. 8. Paul Walker Paul Walker was an American actor who was best known for his role as Brian O'Connor in the Fast and the Furious movies. The relationships that he developed with his co-stars prove how much he was loved by them, and they were all deeply affected by his death. Best friend Vin Diesel is still struggling to come to terms with Paul's death, and it's painful to watch him talk about his beloved friend. Walker died in a car crash in the winter of 2013, and it brought the world to a standstill. He was truly loved by his fans, not just because of his acting talents, but because he was reportedly such a beautiful person. Walker was working on filming Fast and Furious 7 when he died, and the production stopped in order to give the team time to grieve. The story was changed, his brother was used as a stand-in in scenes that had not yet been filmed, and he was given a well-deserved tribute at the end of the movie. 7. Steve Irwin This man was one of the most entertaining people you could have ever had the pleasure of watching, and he truly deserved his nickname, the Crocodile Hunter. Not only was he a wildlife expert with extensive knowledge and bravery when it came to facing fearsome animals across the planet, he was also funny, loving, and compassionate, which were qualities that came across whenever you watched him in his line of work. Unfortunately, Steve died in 2006 after approaching a stingray while filming underwater, and it punctured his heart and lung. However, it's nice to see that his daughter still has a loving relationship with animals after what happened to her father. 6. Princess Diana Diana, Princess of Wales, died almost 20 years ago, and it's still incredibly raw for a lot of people. She was one of the best things that ever happened to the royal family, and the public absolutely adored her for her grace, her spirit, and her compassion. She was involved in some incredible charity work, and she dedicated her life to helping others, making her the perfect role model and princess to the people. Princess Diana died in a car crash in 1997 in Paris. No one survived the crash, and her driver was accused of driving under the influence. More people watched her funeral than her wedding, and the public are still mourning her today. 5. Ilea on August 25, 2001, Ilea and several other members of her recording company boarded a plane at the Marsh Harbor Airport in Ibaco Islands, the Bahamas, to travel to the Opalaka Airport in Florida. Their plane crashed 200 feet from the end of the runway and exploded, subsequently killing all those on board. The report on the crash determined that the plane was carrying 700 pounds more than it should have been. Originally, Ilea and her crew were scheduled to leave on the 26th, but they finished filming her video for Rock the Boat earlier than expected and wanted to leave as quickly as they could, meaning they would fly home on a plane smaller than the one they arrived on, with all of their equipment. 4. Kurt Cobain Cobain was the lead singer and songwriter of the band Nirvana, a band that many people fell in love with. 
However, being famous wasn't exactly an easy thing to deal with, and Cobain disliked all the attention and the media's focus on his personal life, and he felt very uncomfortable in the public eye. Alongside this struggle with fame, Cobain developed an addiction to heroin during the last years of his life, as well as suffering from depression. His body was found in his home by an electrician on April 8, 1994, although it's estimated that he died on the 5th of April by suicide. There were traces of drugs in his system, but Cobain had shot himself in the head. 3. Whitney Houston Whitney Houston was one of the best-selling pop artists of all time, and her death shocked the world. Not only was she one of the best singers that the world had ever had the pleasure of listening to, she was also an accomplished actress and a loving mother. Houston died from a drug overdose, which caused her to drown in the bathtub of the hotel room that she was found in. The manner of her premature death was not considered to be a suicide, but rather an unfortunate accident. Two. Michael Jackson, the king of pop. No one deserved that title more than Michael Jackson, and his songs will probably live on forever because they're simply legendary, just like his moonwalking. He began performing at a young age, singing with the Jackson 5, and then he continued his career as a solo artist where he simply thrived. Not only was his music loved by people all across the world, but he was also loved for the person that he was. His personal life was attacked on numerous occasions because of the many surgeries he had to change his nose and the color of his skin, and he was accused of child sexual abuse. Michael died in bed after he suffered from cardiac arrest. His doctor, Conrad Murray, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter as he was the one who injected Michael with an overdose of propofol, which brought about Jackson's death. 1. Bob Crane The popular star of Hogan's Heroes met his maker in an Arizona motel. Someone bludgeoned the sleeping actor with a tire iron, smashing his skull in. The assailant then cut an electric cord from a motel lamp with a pocket knife and tied a tight knot around Crane's neck. A suspect was arrested but acquitted due to lack of evidence and maintained his innocence for the rest of his life.